this is the key that rules them all. If I lock that car while it's charging, will it stop charging? It keeps on going. It keeps on going. And you can close the windows as long as you have this card with you, you need not worry. It will just keep going. Won't yeah. Cook anything. Because if you leave it open, anyone can unplug it. You should work favors, rental cars, because they couldn't tell me anything. This is the first I've ever driven it. Today we'll shed some light on this amazing Tesla Model 3 key and some secrets that it holds. Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Tesla Model 3 Exploration Series. In this series, we explore various aspects of owning and driving a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. In fact, today I'll tell you a story which will tell you why it's very important for everyone who drives or owns a Tesla to know about the technology and why it is very critical to understand something like this key card and how it works well picture this a busy charging station where electric vehicles gather to recharge and a lot of other shoppers are around as well so i was actually charging my car there and i stumbled across one of the other tesla drivers who seemed to be in a bit of a confusion let's call him mark so Mark parked his Tesla Model Y at the car charging spot and left his windows open to my surprise and he seemed a bit confused so I reached out to him and I struck up a conversation with him uh, asking him what was happening and why did he leave his windows open or if he's even aware that the car's unlocked. He said I was worried about being locked out of the car so I decided to leave it unlocked while charging. But here's where the, our story took a interesting and drastic turn. I asked him, don't you have your phone or key with you? And to my surprise, he had his Tesla key card in a lanyard. As I explained that Tesla key card is the safest way to ensure you would be able to get in, as it does not rely on Bluetooth or internet, I saw Mark's eyes widen with surprise. I was actually shocked at that time, but later realized that it could be quite a common theme among the new users of Tesla as the technology in Tesla is quite unconventional and it's ever evolving with the over the years of trade updates. So I told Mark that my friend, if you have this Tesla key card with you, you don't need to worry about being logged out of your car as this is the ultimate key that you can use even if there's no internet connection with your car or even if your phone's out of battery, someone stole it or whatever. If you have this, that's all you need to drive, access or even add another key to your car. And you know what? Later he thanked me for the information and he even funnily asked me why don't I work for Tesla because all this information wasn't provided to them when they bought their car and it would be great if someone was there that's enthusiastic about Tesla and its technology as I was. And that my friends bring us back to the heart of the discussion, the Tesla Model 3 key card. So that brings us to the first part of the information about Tesla key card is how it connects to the car. So it uses a shortwave RFID signal to connect to the car. And there's a RFID signal interpreter on the side pillar of the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y along with one at the center of the console. And moving on from that, you know the best part of Tesla keycard? You can have multiple keycards paired with your Model 3. Perfect for sharing access with family and friends. And each keycard can have its own profiles. Now, I'll explain how to set user profiles and what are the best settings for those in some other video of the same series. So when it comes to Tesla's keycard, there are certain questions that are raised. First one would be, how do you get those and how many are sold with Tesla? So, so to answer that question, Tesla provides actually two key cards with your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y purchase and they are basically used for as a backup key because you would ideally be pairing your phone which would act as a primary key but you should always have one of the key cards in your pocket just in case your phone dies or it doesn't work or in case you're in a uh, spot where the LTE connection of the car is not good enough then you need the key card to actually unlock the car. Here's a crucial detail to keep in mind. A paired key card is required to add or remove new key card or even set up the phone key feature. This adds an extra layer of security and control over your car's access. As a key card is used to authenticate, add or remove other keys including phones. So if you lose these key cards, you won't be able to pair or unpair any keys. So in case you lose one of 
the two that are provided with your Tesla buy, you should buy another pair just to be safe. How many key cards can be paired with a single Model 3? One may ask. Well, you can pair up to 19 key cards with your car. This allows different drivers to have their own personalized access with customized user profile. There you have it folks, Tesla key card. A compact and amazing marvel that can help unlock the driving experience of your lifetime. So as we conclude our journey through this episode, remember the Tesla key card is your ally. Always keep it with you to ensure that you keep your adventure rolling smoothly. As always, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to join us in our next exploration into the world of Tesla. Until then, stay charged and drive on.